Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi everyone, this is Ivan Meisner, founder of VNI, and I have with me Jeremy Walsh, who is our uh, support services coordinator for uh, all of the uh, VNI Connect project, uh, and Norm Dominguez, CEO uh, for VNI. Uh, welcome you all to this uh, webinar. We're going to be answering questions, so if you have a question, you should see a questions tab uh, here if you are on your computer. Uh, and just uh, feel free to send us a question. We will try to answer as many of those as we possibly can um, uh, towards the end of this webinar. So we're going to be talking about today the Get Connected, Stay Connected program and why you as a member um, should find this uh, a value and uh, of interest. So uh, if you can go to the next slide, Jeremy. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, why BNI Connect? Why did we uh, do this really massive, massive undertaking? And I'm going to have Norm in just a couple of minutes uh, share with you sort of the, some of the core values and, and why it connects to our core values. But here are some really um, uh, simple reasons why BNI Connect is so important for members worldwide. It enables us to report um, slips online, referral slips online, and to identify activity that, to, on the return on investment in BNI, which is really important to members. It is a, a, an amazing system and a game changer for our organization in being able to use technology uh, through, for our face-to-face -face program. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that um, in, in just a little while. So passing referrals, uh, being active in BNI Connect allows members to connect with professions uh, all over the world for uh, knowledge networking as well as uh, referral passing. And of course being active in updating profiles and connect increases the, the VCP opportunity of being part of BNI, the visibility, credibility, profitability uh, aspect of being in BNI. Uh, Norm, do you want to comment uh, just uh, briefly on uh, our core values and why you see the BNI Connect project uh, being so important? Ivan, I'm happy to, and, and welcome everybody onto the onto the call. You know, whenever I get a chance to chat with members and and our director teams, I always like to think of, you know, I talk about our core values, but there are two of them that truly directly relate to BNI Connect. One of them is a core value that we say traditions plus innovation equals success, and on the innovation side. BNI Connect uh, was is our VHAG in BNI, our big, hairy, audacious goal. We've been in the development and continue to work uh, diligently to strengthen this this program that allows us to really practice the uh, local business global network syndrome. And when I think about that, now that the organization, oh gosh, just yesterday I. I, I got an email saying that we've opened Lithuania, which is one of the Baltic countries. So that puts us at 56 or 57 countries of BNI. There's 161,000 plus of us around the world. So we can interact with each other quite easily through the social environment of BNI Connect. Well, that's exciting because we're on the cutting edge of something like this. When, when I think about education and training and all of the activities that are in the help portion of BNI Connect and those things that are listed under the, the webinars that are being conducted or the chapter training and, uh, and uh, documentation that becomes available for all members within BNI Connect and as well as the public forums that exist. So these are all tools that enhance us to become more engaged with one another through this great tool uh, for our organization. Uh, I'll hold off and answer questions if I'm still available later on in the call. Ivan, let me I'll go ahead and give it back to you. Thank you, Norm. If you can go to the next slide, uh, Jeremy, and we'll be on this slide pretty quickly, uh, briefly. Uh, the next slide uh, is a screenshot of SuccessNet, and I want to point out a section on SuccessNet that I think is uh, very important. And that section is the I'm connected section. Um, and Jeremy, I don't know if you've made the switch, but it's not showing yet. 
Um, yep, I think this is uh, this screenshot is from before the I'm connected, but I can pull that up in a few minutes. Okay, uh, then just go to get connected, stay connected if you don't have the. Um, I'm looking for the Microsoft screen. Your next slide. Just give me the next slide, Jeremy. Whatever the next slide is. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully this slide will come up in just a moment. Uh, while I'm waiting, let me talk about the Get Connected, Stay Connected project uh, and what it is. <clears throat> um, for the first time in the history of the company, we are able as an organization <clears throat> to connect with our members globally. And the Get Connected, Stay Connected project is all about here we go. Uh, the Get Connected, Stay Connected project is all about a 12-month campaign to increase engagement in the program. Um, it is, uh, I think, yeah, pull up every slide, every item on there, if you would. Um, BNI Connect, for the first time, takes our 6,600 groups and connects us worldwide. We're coming up on our 30th year in BNI. And for many, many years, um, members basically saw only the tip of the iceberg. They saw the program that was going on in their local chapter. Well, for the first time, uh, our members worldwide can connect with each other. There is no networking organization anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, that has 160,000 members that meet face-to-face -face that are also connected uh, globally through an online social media platform. And that's what BNI Connect does. It does a lot of things. Obviously, it's an admin for the chapters and the directors. It also creates um, literally 6,600 websites. All the chapters now have a website that goes with it that helps to maintain the brand and the trademark. And of course, the social media platform, uh, which is a, an important aspect. And so, um, it was important, and this is so new in the organization, we wanted to make sure that members fully engaged in this program, and in this process, because it's a real value add for members. And so we put together the Get Connected, Stay Connected program to get additional uh, engagement from members. It was launched in the U.S. in October by John Meyer. Uh, John is sending out emails to members. So if you get a, an email from John Meyer, know that John is the national director for uh, BNI US and national directors from around the world will be sending out emails. So if you're from a different country, uh, BNI still represents uh, U, BNI US still represents about 54 percent, 53 percent of the organization, but um, the other 47 percent or so uh, of BNI is uh, run in various countries. And you may receive an email from your national director talking about um, get connected, stay connected. So. Uh, look for emails that will talk about different um, aspects of this program as time goes on. Uh, the Get Connected, Stay Connected program, which is to seek engagement for BNI Connect, is also support, supported through BNI Podcasts. Uh, m every month, the first Wednesday of every month, we will have a Get Connected, Stay Connected podcast for the next eight months or so. Uh, regularly in SuccessNet, and there'll be a screenshot of SuccessNet coming up, and um, uh, we'll point out where the BNI Connect material is. Uh, and of course, uh, on our social media, uh, we are talking about BNI Connect a, a great deal uh, on our social media. And of course, it's followed up with instructional videos. You can go to the next slide, Jeremy, uh, and educational moments by J Jeremy Walsh, and Jeremy will be talking uh, uh, more about this as we go on. So here's the first several months of the Get Connected, Stay Connected program. Um, October was about updating your profile. So if you've not updated your profile on BNI Connect, please do so. This one I shake my head on. I really shake my head when, when uh, uh, members don't have their profiles completed. It's, um, you know, you're participating in a program that's global. It'd be sort of like taking a one-page ad out in the newspaper and, not, and leaving it blank. That would be crazy. So to have um, a connection with 160,000 people worldwide and, and the world uh, uh, globally, because 
non-members can look at profiles, can, can get uh, profiles uh, regionally on people that are, are in you know, various regions around the world. And so to not have a complete profile is like doing a one-page ad and leaving it blank. Complete your profile. Uh, it is step one. Um, and then engage in, in networking education. Take a look at the SuccessNet articles and the podcast that I talked about. Uh, start to do one-to-ones. Each month we've had a podcast on this. So go back and listen to the podcasts at bnipodcast.com. January is about passing referrals online. That podcast was done. And then in February we will have a thank, thanking a referral source uh, podcast on that topic. This is the Get Connected, Stay Connected program, the first six months of it. And it's, again, uh, to help get members engaged in the process to use this incredibly valuable tool, which is new in BNI. Jeremy, would you like to uh, chime in here? Um, one of the reasons that we did this um, also is, again, for direct engagement, but also for educational coordinators out there. We wanted to make BNI Connect approachable. So what we wanted to do was break it down into little bite-sized chunks on a monthly basis so that you're not overwhelmed by, you know, BNI Connect is a huge system. There's a lot of stuff in it. There's a ton of reports. There's a ton of functionality. Um, and when you first log in, that may be overwhelming. So by breaking it into these smaller chunks every month, you can focus on one thing at a time. If you'd like to then jump in and start exploring everything else, that, that's great. Um, but we did want to make it approachable, and that's the reason for um, doing it in these smaller portions. So what, what you're seeing now is, is the actual email. So you should be getting these on a monthly basis from John Meyer if you're here in the United States. They may come from your national director if you're in another country. But you can see it's very simple. Um, what we did was we made it, broke it down into its one component. This one happens to be the first month, build your visibility. And just a step-by-step, -step, here's what you need to do. Step one through step seven should take no more than a couple of minutes and now you're starting to get engaged in the system. Following up with that, that usually comes out right around the first of the month or so. Um, following that, you also will get, if you're an educational coordinator in the United States, you'll get an email from me and on, in that email will be an attachment that's a Word document. In that Word document, you'll see a bunch of things. You'll see um, a multimedia video, so it's a recorded video on how that particular uh, month's topic works. So for those people that like to just read a step-by-step, -step, they'll have that. For those people that like to watch a quick video, they, they'll have that as well. The great thing about the videos is that they are approximately three to four minutes in length. So if you happen to have a chapter that's equipped with um, audio-visual equipment, you could actually use that video as an educational moment. Um, it also has the step-by-step -step walkthroughs within that document and an, an educational moment with other ideas. You know, why is this particular um, topic important? And even words to say for that educational moment. So, Ivan, did you want to talk about SuccessNet a little bit? Yes, I would like to talk about SuccessNet. Um, you'll see here on SuccessNet, um, that there is a 12-month Get Connected, Stay Connected campaign uh, announcement that was made a few months ago. It's uh, on the right, uh, and you can find it under Breaking News. Um, in order for you to uh, find that today, just do a search under the Search Success Net Online for 12-month Get Connected, Stay Connected, and you'll see the, the full campaign that's scheduled. Um, also, there is a um, um, success net looking for BNI Connect success stories uh, under breaking news. I think you've got one more arrow uh, for that. And uh, I'm connected. If you see the arrow pointing to I'm connected, every month you can go to that section and look at all of the stories that exist uh, for uh, BNI Connect. And let me tell you, there are some amazing, amazing stories of people who have used BNI Connect to generate referrals worldwide. Not only, and a lot of people just assume, well, I don't do business internationally, so I don't need to do business worldwide. 
most of the business that's being done, ironically, is local business. But they're getting referrals from all over around the world. They're great stories. Uh, in this section, I'm connected, like the photographer who got uh, Microsoft as a client. One of my favorites is um, a member in Cyprus who referred BNI members in the UK to um, to her mother, uh, who kept looking for her services in the UK and kept getting those referrals. There's just one story after another in this section. I'm connected, so take a look at that, and you'll get a sense for what opportunities there are out there. This is incredible because. We are opening up a whole new way within the BNI organization to do business with members globally. This is an incredible tool, and the more people who are engaged in it, uh, the more successful uh, this will be. All right, Jeremy, you want to um, go to the next, please? Uh, that's the BNI Connect success stories, and you can find that under I'm Connected. Uh, here's the BNI podcast. And you'll see this of uh, the very first um, Wednesday of every month is going to be dedicated to get connected, stay connected. So um, episode 326 was about uh, building your visibility, and it was about um, doing the profile. And so this is the first one. Episode 326 is the first in the Get Connected, Stay Connected series. So go to that one, and then go to every the first Wednesday of every month, and you'll be able to hear us talk about how to apply the things that we're uh, presenting in this Get Connected, Stay Connected program. Next. So this is, um, this is just a quick screenshot from the support site. Um, you'll notice that all of the video presentations and the support for the the, the steps from each month are available on the support site. Um, so I did see a, a question up here from Annette. Uh, it says, if I haven't been getting the monthly emails, um, where can I get them? Um, I'll show you exactly how to do that live in just a couple of seconds, but they are all available on the support site as well. Links to the videos, the step-by-step -step documents, and uh, links to all of the, the supporting things like the podcasts and um, uh, SuccessNet as well. While you're switching to the next slide, I just want to point out we're getting lots and lots of questions and we plan on answering uh, as many, if not all of them, in just a few minutes. So go ahead, Jeremy. Excellent. So what I wanted to do next was actually go through and just very quickly review each of the months that we've done so far um, for anybody that might have missed it the first time. So real quick. Um, the first month was build your visibility, so updating or creating your profile on BNI Connect. Now, first of all, if you have not logged in yet to BNI Connect, um, you can very easily create your username and password right on the home page um, by clicking on the new to BNI Connect register now. Uh, that will walk you through the process of creating a username and password for the system. Uh, if you're struggling with that, uh, of course, you can always talk to your regional office or email us at support at bniconnect.com, and we will get you logged into the system. Uh, once you are logged in, to update your profile, it's very, very easy. This is the home screen, which will show you all your statistics about your membership. But just click on this My Account button in the upper right-hand corner. This is where all of the information about your profile is located. Once you get there, simply fill out all the information. For example, the My Business description. This is kind of your elevator pitch. This is what's going to show up on the public website that everybody in the world has access to. It also shows up on your members only profile that just other BNI members have access to. Your keywords are how people find you when they don't know your name. So pick out some good words for what people might search for. You can always change your username, your password, um, your language settings. BNI Connect is translated into 40 different languages, um, upload a new profile image or a company logo. All of your contact information is available on the next tab. You can change your settings for what types of emails and what you want other people to see on the settings tab. And then very important is your bio. Um, your bio is how you help to build credibility through BNI Connect by sharing this information with other members. Now, the 
commercials and the gains profile, that's available to only other BNI members on the inside of BNI Connect. The TOPS profile, keep in mind that that one is also on the public websites as well. So take some time and fill out your profile. Um, is there anything you wanted to add on filling out your profile, Ivan? Uh, no, I think you've done a good overview. Uh, the thing I would add is uh, probably um, I would quote Nike, just do it. <laughs> it's really important <laughs> to put this information out there. Yep, and it doesn't take very long, so uh, take a couple of minutes and uh, get your profile filled out. Now, in November, we talked about engaging in networking education, so reading SuccessNet, listening to podcasts, and really the technical side of this one was making sure that you turn in your CEUs. Uh, CEUs are the chapter educational units, and they are something that gives you credit on the POMS report. Now. Entering slips in BNI Connect is really, really easy. Um, all you need to do is, when you're logged into the home page, the first four options here at the bottom are submitting the different types of slips. So you have the thank you for closed business slips, the referral slips, the one-to-one -one slips, and the CEU slips. To submit a CEU slip that will give you credit at your next chapter meeting, you would click on Submit CEU Slips. Just pick out the type of um, education that you participated in. So if you followed the email and you read SuccessNet that month, you would want to give yourself a one credit for reading SuccessNet. Uh, if you listen to a couple of podcasts, you might want to give yourself credit for that or for being on a BNI webinar and the other types of events as well. Keep in mind that this does calculate out the credits for you, so um, you don't want to put a four in here for advanced BNI training module because that would give you 16 credits. If you attended one, you would just put a one in. Once that's all set, just click Submit. Now I'll have two CEU credits waiting for me at my next chapter meeting. Keep in mind that your numbers, these statistical numbers at the top, are reading from your POMS report. Um, but by submitting a slip, what we're doing is we're turning that into our vice president for review. Once they've reviewed it, they've officially submitted all the POMS report and also collected any paper slips that were passed at the meeting, then these numbers will change. So you'll see a delay of usually about a week before um, these numbers at the top change. But I can always review it and look at what I submitted by clicking on the Review My CEU Slips. I can take a look at that and we should see all of the CEU slips that I've input, including the ones that I inputted today as well. Um, any other notes on CEUs? Uh, Jeremy, I, I've got a quick uh, no, comment on that. Uh, the CEU credits, as they're tabulated, what does that entitle a member to? I'm sorry, no, you, you, you broke up a little bit there. Can you repeat that? Okay. Uh, could you give me a little more detail about the benefit of the CEU credits to the member within the chapter? Um, oh, I mean, the, the benefits are obviously sharpening your sword. Um, they help okay. you to learn more on an ongoing basis. Um, I do know that there's a lot of regions around the world that are also using uh, the member traffic lights system, and the CEUs are a part of the member traffic lights that are out there in a lot of regions as well. Um, but that is just, it's another tracked st uh, statistic that will appear in your POMS report, you know, aside from all the other benefits of learning. One of the things we've learned over the years is, one of the things we've learned over the years is the chapters that immerse and engage in a culture of learning that really focus on learning uh, tend to be much healthier chapters as a whole. And so if you can get a chapter uh, engaged in tracking the amount of uh, education that they're doing, um, you are able to raise the bar and you know, sharpen your axe, sharpen your sword, as you're suggesting, Jeremy. Uh, I want to open it up for questions pretty soon. Do uh, you have a couple of other things? Let me make one additional comment. Go ahead. Yeah. One, one comment I really like in the CEU credits is I think it reaches to the bottom line. The more engaged you become, the more profitable you can become. No doubt. Okay. Thank you. 
Excellent. Um, so the, the next month we talked about getting to know a referral source, and there's two parts to this. The first of which is making sure that you're reviewing the other person's gains profile. Now you can review the other people's gains profile pretty easily. Uh, the first of which is just by looking at their profile um, in BNI Connect. So you can do that either by using this magnifying glass and searching for them in BNI Connect, or if you're doing a one-to-one -one with your chapter members, you'll be automatically connected to them. So you can always go to your connections by going to Network Connections, picking up the person that you're doing a one-to-one -one with, and viewing their profile. So you can view their profile, you can read about their gains, you can read their bio, you can read their commercials, read their TOPS profile, find more information about them before you get to that one-to-one. -one. That really helps to, to boost the productivity of your one-to-one -one, uh, by doing that gains exchange ahead of time. After you've done your one-to-one, -one, submit a one-to-one -one slip. So the one-to-one -one slip is submit one-to-one -one slip. All you need to do is select a person from your chapter, the person that you met with. So if I did a one-to-one, -one, for example, um, with May this past week, I could choose the location that we met at, the topics of conversation, and the date that we met. Now once I click Submit, that will, again, it will appear in that Review My One-to-One -one Slips, and then next week, both May and I will get the credit for that in our POMS report. Uh, do keep in mind that only one person of the pair does have to submit that slip, and both people do get credit for it. If the other person does uh, attempt to submit a duplicate, you will get a, um, a warning about that, saying this, this slip has already been submitted. Um, the next month, uh, January, we talked about passing a referral. And again, this is the, the bread and butter of our referral relationships, is making sure that we're passing referrals. Now, there's a bunch of benefits to passing a referral online. First, you can do it any time. So a lot of people, although we shouldn't, we tend to wait until the meeting to pass that information about the referral to the other person. Now you can exchange that information immediately by passing the referral through BNI Connect. So if you click on Submit a Referral Slip, this will submit that referral slip online. You can choose somebody from your chapter again, or you can even search cross-chapter. Now what that allows you to do is to pull up a search of other people that are in your region. Right now it is limited only to people that are in your region, so the chapters that are, are pretty close by. Um, just put in a search term here, and you should be able to find that other person within your region. Once I select that person, it'll ask me if I'm sure, and now this referral will be going to this person who I have a relationship with in another chapter. I put in the referral information. What type of referral it is? Is, is it a self-referral? Am I referring myself to David Cordero as a Tier 1 referral? Or referring somebody else from my network? The status, the address, and the telephone number, email address, and any comments about that referral that you'd like to pass along. The great part about this is once I click Submit, immediately an email will go out to David Cordero, letting them know about this referral. Most of us receive our emails on our phones nowadays, so this helps to shorten that referral process. Right away, they will be able to click on that email and follow through with that referral. So that's a very, very quick review of the four months so far, October, Build Your Visibility, November, Engage in Networking Education, and Submitting CEUs. December was Arrange One-to-Ones, Sharing the Gains, and Submitting the One-to-One -one Slips, and then January was Passing a Referral Online. Uh, next month, we're going to be talking about uh, thanking a referral source and entering Thank You for Closed Business on BNI Connect. And 
please expect that email most likely on Monday from John Meyer here in the United States, followed up a couple of days later with the educational moment to the educational coordinators. All right, are we time for questions now, Jeremy, I believe? I, I'm ready. I'm ready for questions. All right, how about I read them and uh, the two of us can tackle them. Uh, Norm, if you have something, feel free to jump in. Um, the first question that we have is um, what, what solutions do you suggest for application fee credit card processing? Are there any initiatives for adding processing to BNI Connect? Uh, and this is from Dean Morgan. Uh, I think the answer to that um, is that we're working on it and it's uh, coming out in one of the uh, upcoming tranches. Is that not correct? Yep, we're, ex we're expecting it mid-year, uh, 2014. Um, not in the very next release. Uh, the very next release is Trench 9, which we're expecting in the April time frame. Um, but the release after that, Trench 10, is when we're expecting the online application process to be implemented. So that is uh, uh, coming up this year, and we're looking forward to having it uh, with that and a few other uh, tranches, uh, we're going to be bringing in the last of the countries uh, that are still um, not on BNI Connect. Um, there are two people, uh, both Evelyn and Dawn, who ask if the PowerPoint presentation is available, and the answer to that is yes, I'm sure, Jeremy, uh, they get it in su the support section. Yep, I'll upload it to the support section. We'll also be, uh, we are recording, I don't know if we announced that at the beginning, but we are recording this webinar. We'll also be recording the webinar this evening that we're doing, um, and with those will be made available both on the support site. Uh, let me show you where to find those things. If you click on this question mark here in BNI Connect, this will take you to the support site. Once you get to the support site, you will see chapter training and documentation within there is the recorded webinars they're all listed here chronologically by month so you'll be able to click on January 2014 and this webinar will be added to this list these were other webinars that we've done this month and uploaded that you're welcome to go through and review now the second place that they'll be available is on our YouTube channel if you go to youtube.com forward slash BNI connect global uh, this has a ton of stuff up there. Uh, there's well over a hundred videos, educational moments, recorded webinars, um, announcements from Dr. Meisner here uh, about BNI Connect. It's a great resource for finding all this information in this webinar, as well as the one this evening will be uploaded to the YouTube channel as well. So those are two places that you can find those. Great. The next question is from Brenda. How do we get this group, as, uh, get the group, meaning the chapter as a whole, uh, to do slips online so that some some of them currently are doing them online and some of them are using the paper method? Um, so I'm welcome to jump in, Jeremy. But my response would be, give it time. Uh, this is a learning process. Um, it's okay to hand out the slips manually. We're fine with that. Uh, putting it online um, is a better way to track the data over time, particularly the value of referrals. For example, um, because we've tracked the uh, thank you for closed business in, over the last 12 months on BNI Connect, uh, we have a, a hard number on um, how much business has been generated in the organization for 2013, and it was substantially higher than our annual um, estimates have been. Uh, based on our previous calculations, we would have estimated that we generated about 3.8 billion in business for our members around the world. Uh, but based on actual numbers, with members putting the data online and um, thanking for the closed business, so we found that the organization worldwide generated 6.5 billion dollars, U.S. dollars worth of business worldwide. So um, it's a journey, uh, you know, not a destination. We got to constantly be working on this, Brenda, and I think. Uh, Webinars like this are a way of helping uh, inform people about the value of doing things like this. So take this back to your chapter. Um, start, to start a wave in your chapter to get engagement um, through uh, putting this online. Anything you'd add to that, Jeremy? Um, I, I always go back to the benefits, and I think you hit on the majority of them, the tracking purposes, the instant notification, especially for referrals. Um, that's a huge help. There's a referral tracking sheet as well where you can actually take tracking the referrals to a whole new level. Um, that was never available before just on paper. 
And then, really, the, your biggest fan of this is generally your vice president. Um, if uh, I'm, I'm currently a member. I'm a member here in the Rhode Island region. Our chapter has about 50 members in it. Now, before BNI Connect, it would take our vice president anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes on a weekly basis to go through and sort out all the, the slips and then basically fill out the spreadsheet of who receives what, who gave what, who had the ones ones, and it's a lot of scrolling up and down and back and forth to get that sheet filled out. Because they're automatic, automatically entered into the POMS report for review, it cuts the vice president's job tremendously. Um, really, if the whole chapter is submitting online slips, all they have to do is really just check it, make sure it's okay, do the attendance, and click submit. Um, our vice president now spends about 20 minutes because about 50-60% of our chapter is uh, entering the slips online. Great. Next question is from David. Uh, I'll summarize it here. He says, uh, 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 the Connect website's great, uh, but he's having a challenge uploading a logo and getting an error. Uh, can you give David a, a quick uh, a place that he can go to to get the answer for that? Yep. Um, basically, uh, if you're ever having trouble, um, you can always uh, submit a ticket to the support system, and we would be happy to help you with just about anything on that. Obviously, if it's something membership-related um, or policy-related, we will direct you back to your executive director. But technical things like that, you're welcome to go to the support site, and you'll see us submit a request. And this is your... Um, ability to get in touch with us for the technical issues and we'll help you out. Your particular issue happens to be, um, I, I, I'd be willing to bet money that you're using a Mac and there's certain versions of Mac and the Flash component that actually kind of crashes that little tool. We are fixing that, we're putting in a whole new tool for that in the very next release of BNI Connect, so that problem is going to go away. Um, but if you are having trouble, two suggestions, uh, try it on a PC if you can, or on a different Mac that might have a different version of Flash, or just submit a support ticket, send us the, the, the photo and the logo. We will upload it for you happily and get that up onto your profile for you. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, Annette, I think you've answered this question from Annette. Um, how do you get the monthly emails if you're not receiving them from John or the National Director? You've shown everyone where they can go for that, I believe, yes? Uh, yep, actually in the public forums section, you'll see these BNI Connect educational moments, and this is where all of the months are. So you'll have, you know, month one was build your visibility, and you can see the post here. It has all of the different resources, including the educational moment, the video, the step-by-step -step process. Um, so you can always go to uh, the BNI Connect educational moments and find the past months, and they're updated month by month um, to have all the information in there. Ed asks, if I'm an insurance broker or something where I need to show my ID, where's a good place to post that? I know that's an important question. Yep, uh, a good place to post that. Um, there's two places to put that, um, depending on how you'd like it to display, uh, both of which go to the My Account section. So you can display it on your profile. What I would recommend is that you put it right here in the My Business as you know, really, the, you can put it as the first line. So if your MLS or your, I think it's the NLS ID number or something like that, um, and then you can type that in. Um, the reason it's good to put it there is that it does display both on the public website as well as on your members only profile um, very prominently, and it should fulfill those legal requirements that you have um, if you're insurance or a mortgage broker and in certain other industries. Um, the second place you could put it is you could put it in your name itself. Um, you could go in and, as part of your last name, put that in. Um, I find that's less desirable um, just because of the way it ends up changing your actual name and how it displays. So my recommendation would be to put it right here in the My Business description as the first part of that section, and it should display where it needs to go. Great. Next question is from Brenda. Do you still uh, put in a paper slip at the meeting if you're doing them online? Uh, Brenda, you can print out the slip 
and you definitely, you absolutely want to hand it out at the meeting. Giving it um, online is good, and you should. Uh, I would equate it to having a hot referral and calling the member before BNI Connect, calling the member and giving the member the referral. Instead of calling, now you do it uh, online. But you would still show up to the meeting and pass the referral. So you can print the referral slip out, and uh, you do want to pass it. And the reason why you want to pass it at the meeting is, is to show members in the group how many referrals are being passed every week. If you just do it online and don't mention it at the meeting, um, you, it loses the power of, of the quantity of referrals being generated. So. Anything you'd add to that? Yep, I just pulled up on the screen the Print Your Weekly Slips report, and you'll notice that it's built in a way so that you can use this during that portion of the meeting. The referral slips print out in a larger form um, so that they can be included for the door prize as well. So you can actually cut that out with a pair of scissors, drop it into the bowl or the basket or whatever it is. Um, that might be going around at your chapter meeting. The rest of this is designed to make it nice and organized for you to announce the rest of the information. So you could stand up. I have a referral for Robin. I had thank you to close business to BNI for um, this amount and one-to-ones and CEUs. And it's all right there in front of you um, to be able to announce at your weekly chapter meeting. And by the way, this is one of the best turnouts we've had for a webinar. I want to thank everyone who's here. We still have a number of questions, and uh, we'll be tackling those. Uh, some of the questions are very specific to director consultants, and I'm going to wait until the end for that um, because we have mostly members on this. <clears throat> so um, I think, uh, Joseph, uh, you've got a question or two about uh, that relate to director consultants, so we're going to hold that to the end. Uh, Ray, you have a question as well. Um, Joseph did have another question that I think is applicable for everyone, and that is even though we operate on trust, is there any way to validate CEUs that people submit? Jeremy, I believe the answer is yes. The well, leadership team does that, yeah. Yeah, the, the vice president um, has access to what's called the slips audit report so that they can review um, what people are submitting online. So it's not completely blind. The vice president still has full control over the POMS report. Um, so they can see what CEU slips are being submitted, who's submitting them, um, and be able to follow up on those. Same with the referrals and uh, the one-to-ones as well. Um, Brent is asking a question that's more of a psychology question than being I connect, I think, but uh, how can you convince your VP that entering the slips online is easier than doing it via the paper slips? I think it's mostly VPs who, who uh, benefit from this, and so I would talk about that. <clears throat> Some people are um, just not early adopters and may have a challenge, but I think as soon as a VP takes on um, uh, making sure that it gets online, uh, future VPs will carry that off. Is there anything you'd add to that, Jeremy? Yeah, no, again, just the example of you know, even my own personal chapter, and I've talked to many, many chapters who have had the same experience, that it just it cuts the amount of administrative time of dealing with the POMS report on a weekly basis at least in half, if not more. Yeah. Wade asks if there's a VNI Connect app for Android or Apple, and um, uh, I do know that we are working on making BNI Connect more mobile, uh, mobile app friendly or mobile friendly. Um, there is no current plan to give access to a third party to uh, BNI Connect data. Um, it, we certainly will be doing uh, making this more mobile uh, friendly, um, but there are real dangers in handing over um, access to a third party to the uh, data as as evidenced by credit card fraud that's taking place um, uh, through digital connections uh, all around the world. And so um, the short answer is yes, we are making this more mobile friendly. However, we're not just handing over the ability to access your personal information, especially since we'll be doing credit cards on here and, and applications. So th there's, um, there's some danger to making it to um, too accessible through mobile apps, and we would rather err on the side of uh, being conservative and, and uh, tr protecting your data. Uh, anything you'd add to the mobility? Nope. Uh, that's you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, you know, it, it, people um, love the mobile apps, and it's great, uh, but they don't like it when um, 
someone hacks their system and can, um, can, can use their credit card. We think that trumps all because this is a, there's a lot of uh, confidential data here. So, um, but we are working on making it more mobile friendly. That said, um, I, you know the number, Jeremy. I think it's something like 85, 90% of the usage of the system is uh, on PCs, uh, not, not on mobile devices. Uh, yes. So we know that will change, and that's why we're developing it. Um, the next question is um, from Tom. Is there a way to print their gain sheet in, in, uh, in an easy manner? Uh, the answer to that is yes. If you go to reports chapter, there's a report specifically for this. It's called the Members Details Report. I would click on that. I would click on View Member Gains. Choose the person that you want to pull up their gains report for and click Go. And this is a way to print out that gains profile uh, in a printer-friendly format or export it if you'd like to to get it out to Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can also switch over to the bio. So for you secretary treasurers that might be on the call, this is how you can print out somebody's bio if you're going to use that for their introduction before their 10-minute presentation um, and also view their TOPS profile. So that's the, again, that's the member details report under reports chapter. And you can pull that report for anybody in your chapter. And Jeremy, Kathy asks, how many CEUs do webinars count for? One. Yeah. So you put in there that you attended one, and it will give you one CEU. Uh, Joseph asks, when entering referral slips, the system does not appear to fully cater for self-referrals. There are only two options available on the referral status, one, given your card, and two, told them, we would call. We need one option for when we are referring ourselves. Well, Joseph, um, I, I, you know, I think uh, um, telling them that you will call is is uh, is really quite sufficient. I mean, we've operated 29 years with those two. Um, if it's yourself, I think it's uh, kind of self-evident. But uh, there's no plans to add a third category at this time. Uh, can you elaborate on getting referrals from BNI Connect? Uh, Wade asks. Um, yeah, Wade, you go to the I'm Connected section of SuccessNet, BNISuccessNet.com, and click on I'm Connected, and you'll get all kinds of stories. Um, I'm, I give a lot of referrals to members all around the world. I no longer give referrals to people who don't have their profile completed, because without a profile, I have no information about the individual. And I, I start with information about that individual. So you can see here there's one that uh, just pulled up giving referrals from through BNI is a privilege. Uh, proof is in the numbers. All of these are great stories about people who have their profile completed and are generating referrals from people all around the world. Lots of great stories here. Go to that and um, uh, you'll see a lot of examples. And I would share this with your chapter because the more you can get your chapter engaged in this, the more it's going to uh, really take off. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I may, may um, mispronounce this name. I think it's Alida. Um, if I have handed in a paper referral slip at the BNI meeting, can I still put it online in BNI Connect? The answer to that is yes. Is that correct, term? Yeah, you just want to make sure that you um, speak with your vice president um, because you don't want that to be counted twice. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up getting the double credit for it. Um, so if you do pass in, uh, you know, let's say that you don't have a printer at home, you don't want to print out the, the, the printed form, uh, you get to your meeting and you need to put in a paper slip as well, make sure that you just put an X through that paper slip so that your vice president knows this one was already entered online. Uh, don't give another tick mark in the box for credit for that in the POMS report. That's really the only, the only concern is to make sure that you don't um, double enter the information. Uh, Jeremy, William asks about uh, the mobile ability, specifically an app, but uh, the, I've talked about the fact that we're going to be you know, redesigning for mobile ability. Do you know when that's scheduled for the transit? Uh, not yet. Um, I do know that it's it's being talked about. Um, I do know that there are a couple of um, 
apps really for the, um, the, the external websites and making those more friendly that are already being beta tested. Uh, the new national websites um, that were just launched like BNIAmerica.com, those are mobile friendly already. Um, so that's kind of our, um, our, our way in, so to speak. And I do know that they, they wanted to do it um, in tandem, um, in parallel with the regular development that we're doing. So um, I do know that progress was going to be made on that this year, but I don't have any definite information on that. I would ask the members, you know, be patient. We want to do this right. We want to protect uh, the members' the confidentiality and data. Uh, and we're doing this without uh, any vulture capitalist, I, I mean venture capitalist. Um, this is being done internally, and it's part of the, uh, your existing membership. So uh, be patient. It takes time, and it's a very, very expensive proposition. And we're doing this all internally. So um, um, we've made incredible strides in the last couple of years, and we will continue to do so, I promise. Um, this is absolutely the product that I hoped it would be. Um, and uh, it's just taken a little longer to get there. Uh, Nancy asks, <laughs> if I binge watch BNI webinars, does that count as CEUs? I believe every webinar is a CEU, is that correct, Jeremy? Uh, yes. So for each webinar you watch, you can stick a, stick a one in your CEU column. So we, we highly recommend binge watching. <laughs> Certainly better than binge drinking. Uh, all right, what is your YouTube website again, Kathy uh, asks? It's youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Forward slash BNI Connect Global. Unfortunately, BNI Connect, the short version was already taken, um, but we do have BNI Connect Global available. So youtube.com, BNI Connect Global. These are great questions, by the way. Uh, I appreciate it, everyone. John asks, uh, do we start from zero, even if we've been in BNI for years, or is it possible to include revenue and referrals from the past? So what he's referring to is that there, there's a new statistic that we started tracking with BNI Connect that we were never able to track before. And that's this top figure here. Um, all these other numbers are part of the POMS report. This one is not. It's revenue received to my business. Um, the only way to get this number to accumulate is by submitting online slips. That is the only way to, to get that number to increase. Now the reason for that is because when you turn in thank you for closed business it is anonymous um, and it's done that way intentionally because there's a lot of people that couldn't participate in the thank you for closed business program if it wasn't anonymous like lawyers and doctors and some insurance agents and people like that. Um, Yes, we all started at zero. I am a 12-year member um, until BNI Connect came out. Um, it wasn't tracked, and I started at zero as well, along with everybody else. Um, but again, as soon as you start submitting those slips, you will be able to start incrementing that number. Uh, there is sort of a way that you might be able to do a catch-up. See, uh, thank you for closed business on that. Talk to me offline. There's a uh, there's some arrangements that would have to be made with your vice president, and um, there could be some complications with it. So uh, feel free to submit a support ticket on that one, and I can talk you through that. Great. Nancy says, BNI Connect is great. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate that. Um, Joe asks, how do I get that yellow MSP ribbon on my profile? I think Joe likes your uh, yellow MSP <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, how do I, just, just for the record, I don't even have a yellow MSP uh, ribbon. Uh, but you know, even though I helped write it. So uh, how do I get that yellow MSP <laughs> ribbon on my profile like the one on the presentation? Ivan, I'll make sure that you get one on yours. Um, oh, good, thanks. <laughs> uh, basically, for this to appear on your profile, a MSP training needs to um, be on your training history. So your training history, this is all events that were recorded through BNI Connect. So there's a lot of people that may be on the call that um, your member success program training preceded BNI Connect and it was never registered through this system. All you need to do is contact your regional office, say, hey, I attended an MSP on this date, can you please add that to my profile? And your regional office should be able to add that for you. So um, I don't know if you want all of your MSPs listed on there, Ivan, but I'd be happy to help you with that. <laughs> I do about one a month now, <laughs> roughly. 
Um, so Jay asks, wouldn't it be wise to have a box on the slip to mark if something has been entered online? It's not a bad idea. Uh, you wanna, um, is there a place that people can go for recommendations like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that one would require changing the paper slip, I believe. Um, I'd be happy to have them to host it in our, again, if you go to the support site by clicking on the question mark in BNI Connect, there is a, in the public forums, all the way down at the bottom, suggestions and enhancement requests. This is where we collect all of the great ideas that you guys have, put them up here. We read these on, as a team, as a project team, we review these at least two or three times a month. Um, you know, we just had a review last Friday. We're going to be going through and review them again this Friday. People vote on them. They make comments on them. We will give you feedback. We can tell you that certain stuff is planned, certain stuff is done, um, certain stuff is not planned for whatever reasons that might be in place for that. But again, the BNI Connect support forums, suggestions, and enhancement requests would be the place to go to, to put those things in. Um, uh, Jay, that was a good suggestion. Thank you. Uh, Alita also has problems uploading, uploading her portrait. Um, I believe you've answered that question. Um, she can, um, Alita, you can seek support directly from Jeremy for assistance on that, okay? Um, Ian uh, says, um, entering slips online would have a much higher acceptance if there was a mobile app. Ian, I agree, be patient. Um, we, uh, we are not the federal government. We can't print money, but we're doing as much as we possibly can um, every, uh, every month to uh, do enhancements and to uh, get this to where uh, we want to do it. And I, I think um, mobile application in one way or another is, is a value, and um, it's certainly on our long list of things that need to be done. Uh, in the meantime, uh, use what you can, and it will. The increased engagement will help uh, the system move forward. Um, let's see another question. We're coming up on the top of the hour, so I'll take a couple of a uh, couple more co questions, uh, and then uh, Jeremy, if you're willing to stick around and answer the rest of the questions, I'm happy to stay. Uh, uh, yep, in, I'm always happy to answer. That's what I do all day: answer BNI Connect questions. <laughs> Joe asks, um, on, the, on the bio page of one's account, please explain again the difference between the different profile, what is seen where, and basically what is the most important for outside people to see. Sure, absolutely. Uh, the easiest way to, to really see that is to go to two things. Uh, log into BNI Connect and click this profile button down at the bottom. That will show you what your internal profile looks like, all the things that appear to other members, which is pretty much everything that you choose to share. All of these different tabs, again, your my business description, keywords, company, any type of contact information, um, the 60-second presentations, gains, tops. Uh, people can view your connections um, and even go through just like LinkedIn and view those uh, first-level connections. Testimonials appear on your profile on the inside. Uh, you do have a photo sharing library that you can share through BNI Connect. Uh, people can see what groups you're participating in. And to go back to a question from way earlier, how do you increase your global footprint and participate and build those relationships uh, for global referrals? This is a great way to do it is through the discussion groups. Um, I rec highly recommend the From the Founder group. Hey, me too. <laughs> On the uh, regional websites, if you go to your regional website, um, mine happens to be bniri.com. Go to find a member and find yourself. This will show you what displays on the public websites. Now basically what displays is your contact information. There is the ability to send you an email, but we will never, ever, ever display your email address to the general public. Your picture and your logo, your my business description, and this is the tops profile. Tops profile, my business description, contact information. Those are the most important things to make sure that you get filled out because that's what's displaying to the rest of the world. And of course, the keywords, because most people when they're searching are going to be searching for what you do as opposed to your specific name. All right, we're at the top of the hour. Uh, Jeremy and I will stick around a few more minutes. Uh, 
to answer your questions, but I just wanted to, before people started cutting out, wanted to thank everyone. I believe this was one of our biggest turnouts for a webinar. Is that accurate, Jeremy? Yep, one, one of the larger ones. Yeah, uh, so thank you everyone for coming, and I appreciate your questions. We're going to stick around a little longer and answer as many questions. There's way more questions than uh, we can answer, uh, but I appreciate everyone sending them, and we'll uh, tackle a few more now, but uh, thank you for those of you who came. Uh, I see Eve, Eve Gumbel, it's, it's great to see you. Uh, you have a question here. If, if um, you record slips online and turn them in at a meeting, doesn't that make double work for VP? I don't know if it makes double work, but it does double count the referral. Isn't that correct, Jeremy? Well, again, if you're, if you're recording them online, um, for all of the other types of slips, so for the CEUs, for the thank you for closed business, and the one-to-ones, there is absolutely no need to turn in a paper slip for those. You absolutely 100% do want to announce them at the meeting. You want to celebrate that activity at the meeting. So, you know, those ones entered online, you do not need to, to turn in a slip for those, but you do want to announce them. Now, referrals... The only reason to turn those in, again, is if you want to be included for the door prize drawing that week. In those cases, either use the print your weekly slips or just fill out a regular referral slip at the meeting and put an X through it. Now, you know, that's what we do in our chapter. Now the vice president, the end of the meeting, he dumps over the bowl, filters out all the referral slips to pull for the door prize. When he goes back to his office, he just pulls out all the ones that have an X through them and doesn't count those in the POMS report. It's a very quick and easy way to get that information across to the vice president. Uh, it is not a duplication of work for them at all. All right, I'm going to do one more question, Jeremy, and we have a ton of questions, but unfortunately I won't be able to hit them all. This is from Robert. It's a little complex. Can you add an option for another category? I work with a company in BNI that is not on BNI Connect and uh, he wants to give referrals to them. I'm not able to reflect that significant portion of my... BNI income. I think, um, Robert, I think one of the things that you want to do is get that company active on BNI Connect. Um, virtually every company um, in BNI can be on BNI Connect with the exception of uh, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and just a couple of regions in the U.S. are not on BNI Connect. Otherwise, everyone's on BNI Connect, and so what you probably have is just a company that's choosing not to be active on BNI Connect. And that's really the purpose of this webinar today, is to show people why it's so important to be on BNI Connect. Am I misreading this question, Jeremy? Uh, no, I, and I think um, you know, one, one point that's been made is that the, you know, the intention of the POMS report is to track our BNI activity. Um, we all do tons of business with people that aren't in, in BNI and not members of our chapter or other chapters that we have relationships with, but uh, I think the purpose of the POMS is to track specifically our BNI activity. All right, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one real quick question here that Nicole asks. Can we answer the questions that are unanswered? Can we answer them somewhere else? And the short answer to that is yes, through the support section. You want to show that just one more time, Jeremy. If, if you have a question, a burning question that you need answered, you go to that question mark that he just showed, you click on that, and you're able to see a lot of information. And if you need uh, assistance, you can also reach out to Global Support and uh, at the email support at bniconnect.com uh, to get answers. Yep, and there's a uh, search again, feature. Pull up the search documents. Uh, there's step-by-step -step guides to nearly everything in the system, especially from a member's level. There's every piece documented. So just do a search for something. This is the answer to your question before, Nicole. This is how they check a SLIPS audit report. They can check the details. Um, but And then if you have any questions, just um, you don't see it on mine because I'm an administrator, but you would see a submit a request function up here. Submit a ticket. We're happy to answer those questions for you. And Jeremy and his team get the highest possible ratings from a support team that I've ever seen. Um, he is... Uh, he is very, very responsive to questions, and I, I appreciate uh, what he does. Okay, everybody, uh, thank you again for being here. I truly believe, uh, you know, I've been doing this now almost 30 years. I believe BNI Connect is a game changer for the organization. 
it, um, it, it, for the first time, we're able to connect our members globally. We truly are not only um, uh, a, a, a global organization in terms of our name, we are a global organization in the way uh, we can connect worldwide. So uh, please, uh, get your members engaged in the process. Uh, I think that you will find this to be an excellent tool. Uh, I have devoted a lot of time and resources to this because I uh, fully wholeheartedly believe in it. So thank you all very much and look forward to um, um, have, uh, speaking to you again in the future on, on future webinars. Jeremy, thanks for your work. My pleasure. Thank you, Ivan. Bye-bye. Right.